All right, without further ado, let's uh, slide right into some scoring of last night's game. Again, UCF wins 36-26. Eddie O'Brien did a pretty good job for you kicking last night. You bet he kicked three for three, and uh, fortunately our defense had a very good night. In fact, I don't believe that we'd had 26 points scored on us if we hadn't given up such good field position on all those turnovers. But Eddie, of course, kicked the first field goal of the game, then he comes back and kicks another one. <coughs> then the next... Uh, time we get the ball we're going to throw a touchdown pass here Darren's going to throw to Bernard Ford on a takeoff he turns his defensive coverage man around here and uh, catches the ball with the man with his back to him okay the two-point conversion failed and UCF was up at the time 12 to nothing then in the second quarter Reuben Bennett came back with a 40-yard field goal for Savannah State he had a couple of those last night you bet uh, they did a good job on us uh, all the way through and this was Ed Edwin Ford for a two-yard run there I've made it 12 to 9 then Bennett would come back with his second field goal again this was a 40-yard effort and uh, that tied the game at 12 were you a little bit concerned at that well point? I was very much concerned at that time Pat but we did come roaring back uh, with our running game and uh, Robert Ector then takes this weak side sweep here and runs about 20 yards for the touchdown and Robert had 72 yards, and the game was injured late. Is he going to be okay? Well, he had a dislocated elbow, a very unusual injury. I've only seen three in all my years of football. And Eddie, of course, kicks another field goal here. And that rounded out the scoring in the first half, 22-12 to 12 at halftime. Then in the third period, Gil Barnes had a good game and a nice run there for a score. Gilbert Barnes is going to be a great player for us, Pat. He's got two years left after this year. 29 to 12 at the time. Then Norwood comes back with a nine-yard run for for Savannah, and that made it 29 to 19. But uh, UCF was uh, in control at that point. Then in the fourth quarter, Barnes would pretty much sew it up with this one-yard dive. Yes, sir. Lee, that was very good. Back to Hector just just a minute. I, I would think that Robert will miss two or three games because of that elbow. Okay, and this is the final score of the game. Kennard, uh, sharp, a sharp 24-yard score, 36 to 26 is how that game ended. And now let's take a look at some of the key players. We talked about the running game, and that man was certainly key last night, Perry Belasis, with seven carries for 91 yards. We've talked a lot about Perry. He showed a lot of toughness. I wish, I know Perry's probably watching the show because he heard he was going to be on TV, <laughs> but Perry, you need to quit finding the tackler so quick down the field. Try to dodge those guys a little bit. The Perry great. tries to use his bullish tech personality <laughs> when he breaks out in the open. You're going to see him break out here and find that. Watch him run right over that safety. <laughs> it is a great run, though. Is he improving? Uh, oh, Perry, Perry's going to be a great player for us. He's going to be a very outstanding player. And we saw Gil Barnes, who uh, took over quite a bit when uh, Mr. Ector got hurt. 17 carries, 85 yards for Gil last night. Well, I think we were able to show that we do have some talented backs last night. And uh, one of the reasons why we were able to run the ball so well is that blocking is, is very good up there. Our line is coming along. Paul Lounsbury is doing a fine job with them. They're responding very well to him. I know. I heard him talking on the radio just before the game with Manny last night, and he seems very confident. Uh, doesn't have a hard time getting those fellows fired up anymore, does he? Well, he's got the right kind of personalities to work with. Uh, Paul is, a, is a, an intense individual himself, and he's working with some youngsters that are very prone to get intense also. Okay, Gil Barnes, take a look at a couple of the fellows on defense last night, too. Keenan Wimbley, we've seen plenty of him this year. Keenan has had a great year for us. He's, he's our best pass rusher, and he's an aggressive football player. He's, he's the guy that uh, we really count on for big plays. Doing a great job here, and uh, Joe Simmons was also uh, doing some good work for you last night, a defensive tackle. Well, Joe, of course, is, is a junior, and, and uh, he's going to have another great year for us next year. He's just, uh, m probably the most consistent defensive lineman. That's very hard to say because we've got so many good players over there, but uh, he really does a great job. I wanted to just ask you about the, the no-huddle offense again last night.